morning students uh, today we are going to discuss about the dinoflagellates actually the dinoflagellates are the protozoans they are uh, common and uh, nowadays they are uh, using in various applications have been uh, aroused from the dinoflagellates uh, there are many important characteristics and uh, salient features and uh, other life cycles we will discuss in this particular video first uh, over, uh, overview of the dinoflagellates they are uh, actually unicellular aquatic organisms bearing two dissimilar flagella and having characteristics of both plants and animals they 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 are uh, usually they are the combination of both the characteristics of plants and animals are present in dinoflagellates and they have the two dissimilar flagella actually the term dinoflagellates mean means that dinos means the whirling that is a flagella which is uh, present in that particular organism and uh, the which uh, which produces a whip like movement actually the botanist treated this as the algae initially and later on they they were uh, converted into the dinoflagellates and they also produce uh, bioluminescence they has the they have the capacity of producing the bioluminescence which is uh, one of the unique uh, features um, apart from that it also contains the some pigments of uh, chlorophyll pigments chlorophyll a chlorophyll c and also carotenoids and it uh, and it consists of uh, actually 130 genera of uh, species and uh, 3000 living dinoflagellates species have been reported recently in the 2017 to 19 it is a recent report from uh, from one of the reputed uh, journals some of the common dinoflagellates include gonilox kernia and oxyris Dinopisis, Noctiluca, Alexadria are some of the common uh, species of dinoflagellates which are reported recently. Many are macroscopic with the size of the dinoflagellates usually ranges from 15 to 40 microns. What are the common characteristics? There are some unique features which are observed in dinoflagellates. They are also called as the marine planktons since they are present in the marine environment uh, usually they are called as the marine planktons they are found dispersed in all the oceans all the oceans in particularly in all the zones of the ocean that is the benthic zone lotic lemnitic zone all zones are rich uh, with the dinoflagellates these are the oceanic zones which are uh, which uh, in which we can observe the dinoflagellates which are present in all the zones that is the pelagic zone amphotic zone and a photic zone photic zone is a zone which is uh, which is a topmost surface where the light enters as photo means the light this is the pelagic zone aphatic zone is some of the deep uh, deepest layers uh, abyssal zone is the deepest layer which is uh, present in the ocean that is a uh, very deep portion of the ocean is called as the abyss and uh, in the abyssal zone also we can observe the dinoflagellates not only in the uh, photic zone it can also be observed in the abyssal zone also this is the this uh, particular representation um, figures out the survivability of dinoflagellates in all the zones that is the intertidal zone continental shelf and uh, sea pan that is up to 45 centimeter depth that is uh, next is a benthic zone next is brittle star that is that is a zone which where the uh, sea star or sea urchin are usually present along with that dinoflagellates also survive that is uh, up to the depth of 60 centimeter 
um, and also and uh, where there is no light exists and uh, and even it is also present in the abyssal zone which is uh, the depth is very much higher when compared to the other zones that is 6000 to 10000 meters in which also we can observe the dinoflagellates which are usually present next is the structure of the dinoflagellates dinoflagellates have a complex structure called amphysema and uh, it is composed of flattened vehicles called alveoli the dinoflagellates consists of covering of cellulose plates and uh, these cellulose plates are called as a theca layer and it is composed of usually cellulose cellulose plates are um, cellulose enzyme can also be produced and uh, many research articles uh, have been reported that some of the cellulose producing enzymes have been isolated from the dinoflagellates also this is a unique structure of the dinoflagellates that is a flagella plate like structures flagellar pores hypotheca and these are the common dinoflagellates uh, this is the flagellum this is the prominent feature of this uh, dinoflagellates that is longitudinal flagellum and also the transverse flagellum and this is the locomotion which is uh, present in the dinoflagellates structures there are many unique structures are present vacuole uh, puzzle cytosome osseolus dinocarion pyrene pyrenoids and also the plastids are also present chloroplast we uh, it contains the three types of pigments are usually present chlorophyll a c and a fucoxanthin is one of the chief pigments are present uh, nutrition is usually the nutrition of uh, dinoflagellates is usually photosynthetic mode of nutrition some of the predators they feed on the bacteria phytoplanktons and also smaller uh, dinoflagellates some species establish the symbiotic relationships with the invertebrates some of the common examples are zooxanthellae zooxanthellae are the endosymbiotic marine animals and uh, protozoans they are present in the surface of the coral reefs coral polyps produce the carbon dioxide for the algae and it provides protection in return anatomy of the corals this is one of the coral uh, reefs the life cycle of the dinoflagellates was first recognized in the year 1985 by evitt um, in the first phase um, it is a haploid cell state haploid cell state is converted into the diploid uh, cell diploid cell the diploid zygote constructs a new layer of theca and uh, forms and it helps in motility called a planozygote planozygote after which the zygote undergoes the repeated uh, division cellular divisions the activity then decreases um, after 15 days the flagella will disappear and this stage is called as a hypnozygote stage uh, flagella will uh, appear and after 15 days it will disappear this specific stage is called as a hypnozygote stage and uh, the theca will uh, shrink and they form the membranes which are present in the new cyst wall the thecal plates break and open break open the cycle and the, the cell cycle is stopped following the period of obligate dormancy the protoplast exist through the archaeopi sexual reproduction can also be induced by light temperature or light reduction and uh, there are some blooms also can also be observed like algal blooms dinoflagellates blooms are also observed in oceans or uh, flows ocean floors um, the common types of reproduction are sexual and uh, asexual reproduction usually the sexual reproduction takes place by cyst formation and uh, by the haploid cells uh, other features are they produce the bioluminescence saxitox toxin is one of the uh, some of the toxins which are produced by the dinoflagellates apart from these the some of the dinoflagellates are also used in the forensic science departments for uh, investigation of crimes 
recently it is uh, reported in many research articles 